Hello everyone and welcome. Thank you so much for joining the channel, where in this video we're going to revisit damaging DPS for the grenade launcher for Ranger's Memory. Now this is because I've had a couple of comments on previous videos that have asked me to take a look at this weapon with the Pulse Monitor and Demolitionist perks. So before I do the Wither Horde with Heavy Weapons video, it made more sense to do this first and if DPS comes out higher than previous testing, then that will be the role included. Although I'll probably check it out with Auto Load and Holster as well when testing for that video. So, the structure of the video will run over the numbers for these two perks, with Pulse Monitor reloading your weapon when critically wounded, and Demolitionist reloading when you throw a grenade. We'll then take a look at this when exotic armour that provides two grenades is equipped on Warlocks and Titans, and not forgetting Hunters, there is something there for you as well, as I'm not aware of any Hunter armour that gives two grenade charges. When we move onto the graph, we'll start with Ranger's Memory with the perk Clown Cartridge as a base figure, as covered in my grenade launch video. As always, no armor mods were used, although the numbers for the original Berenger's memory are with Aphidian Aspects equipped, which will speed up reload slightly. And of course, a backup mag mod was used for testing every scenario, providing 6 in the magazine. So, let's quickly run through the numbers now, starting with these two new perks together, which is possible because they sit in different columns so you can have a weapon roll with them both. For this specific scenario, you want to fire all 6 rounds in the first magazine, throw a grenade and then immediately start firing again, as throwing the grenade has just reloaded your weapon. As you work your way through the second magazine, once there's only one round left, fire at the ground so that your health drops really low. Bear in mind though that firing too close will kill you. If you get that right, then you'll now have a fully reloaded magazine. Empty that, and there's then just two left after a rather slow and normal reload, as when I tested, my health and shield hadn't fully regenerated in time to proc pulse monitor again. If you're in a Warlock's well though, that would be different. Each round, including spike grenades, does 16,392 damage, with 20 rounds in total, but remember, you've just used one of them to proc pulse monitor, so total damage for 19 rounds comes in at 332,015. Now for the grenade damage, I've tested this using the Warlock's Fusion Grenade, which does 20,567 damage and is included in the total damage figure. It takes 11.44 seconds to do all that damage using this method, therefore DPS is 29,022. The next method is when using Starfire Protocol on the Warlock, which gives an extra Fusion Grenade charge, or on a Titan, the exotic chess piece Armenitarium, if I pronounced that right, which also gives a second grenade although I think this gives a second charge of any grenade type. This method works by throwing a grenade each time the magazine is empty, which is now twice, and when it empties for the third time, fire at the ground to proc pulse monitor. So, damage per round is of course the same at 16,392, but total damage does go up as is a second grenade thrown. 19 rounds are fired at the target, with one being fired at the ground, so total damage is 352,582. It takes 9.94 seconds to inflict this, therefore DPS is 35,471. Very impressive. And for the final test, and to make sure I don't leave hunters out, this method is the same as the first, reloading with a grenade and then with pulse monitor, only for the third and final reload, you dodge. So, you know the routine now, I don't need to explain it, round damage is the same and so is total damage, as the hunty sticky flux grenade does the same damage as a warlock's fusion grenade. Well, actually, the impact of throwing it did one less. Yeah, one. But I didn't know if that was because of the distance I was throwing it from, so I've ignored it. So it takes 9.87 seconds to complete this full method, therefore DPS for the Hunter is 33,639. Another very impressive number. Now for the graph, starting with Berenger's Memory with Clown Cartridge, a backup mag mod, and Aphidian Aspects as well, as tested in my Grenade Launcher DPS video. This did 327,843 over 11.53 seconds, so DPS is 28,434. Coming up next is the Single Grenade, Pulse Monitor and Normal Reload method. Now it does fall behind Clown Cartridge at around 2-3 to three second marks, and that's because Clown Cartridge has been paired with a backup mag mod, and therefore holds a minimum of 7 in the magazine. But after that, Demolitionist and Pulse Monitor pull ahead and stay ahead. The first short flaction is the time it takes to throw a grenade and then fire from Berenger's memory again, with the Fusion Grenade taking a similar amount of time to detonate as it does to fire your next round from the grenade launcher, although distance from the target can play a part in this. That's why there's a sudden jump as you're seeing damage from one round and the grenade at the same time. The shorter flat section is when firing at the ground for one round in order to prop Pulse Monitor, while the longer flat section towards the end is the normal slow reload. 
Next up is the double grenade and pulse monitor method, of course only available to warlocks and titans. This mirrors the previous technique up until the second reload where a grenade can be thrown again and you don't have to fire a round at the ground. Surprisingly, despite the higher DPS, it actually now falls behind for a couple of seconds, but manages to pull it back towards the end when the single grenade method is reloading normally. Of course though, it does do more total damage due to that extra grenade. And finally, the hunter method. As already discussed, this requires you to throw a grenade upon emptying the first magazine, then fire at the floor to prop pulse monitor after emptying the second, and to just simply dodge for the third. This is actually very close to the double grenade option for the Warlock and Titan, while also pulling ahead for a good two seconds around the midpoint. Because of this, I'd probably pick the Hunter option if I had the choice between three classes, as despite the slightly lower DPS, it doesn't require a specific piece of exotic armour. Unless you wanted to use the 6 Coyote, in which you could use a grenade and then dodge for the last two reloads. And just quickly, let's throw Interference 6 in there, with Spike Grenade, Clown Cartridge, Full Court and a Backup Mag Mod. This has a total damage of 375,248 and is done over 10.59 seconds, therefore DPS is 35,434. Now, this requires 16 rounds to be emptied in two magazines, so there's an element of RNG to it due to clown cartridge. Also, admittedly, I made a mistake in my grenade launcher video on taking a total reserve number with field prepped equipped, which is 18, so the numbers in that video are slightly higher than they should be and aren't actually possible to achieve. In this video, it's back to normal at 16 rounds in total. Overall, Berenger's memory has better DPS figures in this video than my other one, where it was only tested with the perk clown cartridge. The graph does look a little awkward now as so many of the lines are on top of each other at the start, but that's just how it is. Interference 6 though has been decrowned as the grenade launcher DPS King, and that's even with full court, so you need to be stood 45 meters away or more, which isn't always practical or even possible, and as I've said, there's still RNG involved due to clown cartridge. Admittedly, it still has the highest total damage output, but despite that, I don't consider the DPS of Interference 6 to be reliable, and personally would always choose Berenger's memory, unless you absolutely need that most total damage. And for anyone wondering why I haven't taken the time to test Berenger's memory with Clown Cartridge and Demolitionist, that's because they don't work together. After trying a couple of times in the Tribute Hall, throwing a grenade does not proc the Clown Cartridge perk, and therefore it doesn't reload your weapon beyond the normal capacity, in this case it's 6. Now, I just want to take this moment to thank everyone who has watched, liked, subscribed, commented, and specifically put forward the suggestions that have made videos like this possible. Without you, I couldn't do it. So thank you so much and keep them coming. And on that note, it's all from me. I hope you enjoyed the video and found it informative. If you did, please consider subscribing and liking or disliking and leave me some feedback in the comments down below as it helps me out massively. As always, thank you very much for watching. I'll see you next time.